Hey you beautiful ones, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a huge review on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, I know Jeffree Star is quite a controversial figure, so I really hope I don't get any hate for this video. I've tried to be as impartial as possible. I'm neither a fan of Jeffree Star nor a hater of Jeffree Star. I know that a lot of people do have a problem with him um, from you know the way he's behaved in the past, and I completely understand that. But I also know that a lot of people absolutely adore him and really, really look up to him as a role model and I completely understand that as well. So I just want to make it clear in this video before we even get into it as a disclaimer, I'm not reviewing Jeffree Star as a person in this video. If we take him kind of completely out of it, I'm just reviewing Jeffree Star Cosmetics as a brand. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, the truth about these cosmetics as I go through them so that you can get a really good understanding of the brand hopefully from this video. Quickly before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by ShopTagger. I know a lot of you guys already have ShopTagger, but for those of you that don't, I'll quickly run through it and tell you how it works. It's an app that you can get on your laptop and your phone, and it helps you save money when it comes to shopping. So what you do, you go onto the ShopTagger website and you download the ShopTagger button. Now you can use ShopTagger for anything. You can use it for makeup like I do. You can use it for home decor. You can use it for clothes, shoes, anything that you want to buy, you can use ShopTagger for. So once you've downloaded the shop tag button what you do is go on you know any website say you want to purchase for example this Jeffree Star highlighter you'd go onto the website where the highlighter is you click your shop tag button in the top right hand corner of your screen and that's going to save the product to your shop tag account then you can choose to be notified when the product goes on sale when there's a price change when the product comes back in stock and you can be notified by either email or push notification to your phone in your shop tag account you can also set up different categories so for example I've got categories for makeup home wear, clothes, shoes, beauty items, which is amazing if you like to be organized when it comes to your purchases, like I know a lot of you guys do. It just makes everything so much easier to see what category the purchases you want to make are in. And there's an awesome new feature that ShopTagger has just released where it finds coupons for you. So if you're anything like me, what I always do when I'm like online shopping, right before I pay a checkout, I quickly do a Google to see can I find any like discount codes or coupon codes to save some money just in case. Well, with ShopTagger, you won't have to do that because when you go to the checkout, ShopTagger will literally scan through the internet and if it finds a coupon code for the product you're about to buy, it has a little pop-up and it shows you and then you can apply it at the checkout. I use this app religiously. It's such an amazing app. I know a lot of you guys do use it too, but if you don't get on it, it's awesome for saving money because it means that you can kind of categorize the purchases you want to make and also be notified when they go on sale, when they're a little bit cheaper, or if there's a product you want to buy but it's sold out, you can be notified when it comes back in stock. I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. I'll put it like right at the start for you guys so you can find it nice and easily. And that way, those of you that don't have ShopTagger and aren't using it yet, you can quickly download it, get the little button and get shopping. So let's get into the video, guys. I'm gonna show you all these products that I purchased and spent an absolute fortune on. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start off with this green concealer here. I bought this because, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of redness on my face. I've got rosacea, and pregnancy has not helped my rosacea at all. It's made it extra vibrant. So I saw this on Jeffree Star's website, and I was like, I need that in my life to counteract the redness because green is the opposite of red on the Makeup Artistry color wheel, so it's meant to neutralize it. Then I accidentally bought two of these, and I don't need two of them, so I'm actually gonna put one in this week's giveaway on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, come follow me on Instagram. Instagram. This product, I have been using it for a little while now. I have a few things to say about it. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. So the packaging itself is seriously pretty. I love how much detail Jeffrey goes into with his packaging. The one thing I don't like about it though is this star on the top. Guys, it is so sharp. It is honestly so scratchy. I would actually be concerned if a child got their hands on this because it is sharp enough to scratch you. I have scratched my hands on this so many times just from picking it up and trying to take the lid off. Inside you have this sofa foot applicator which I really like as well so it makes it nice and easy to apply the product straight to your face which is what I'm gonna do because I'm just gonna use this one purely for me not on any other people or clients or anything like that I'm gonna put it anywhere I am super red which for me is basically my entire face I'm like a tomato at the minute and then what I've been doing is I've just been going in with a damp beauty sponge to blend it out this product is super pigmented for anyone with a face that's not as like blotchy and red as mine I like you do not need to use this much green because the green is intense like it's not a sheer color corrector. It's a really pigmented color corrector and it will definitely leave a green tinge on your face if you put too much. Like I've definitely put too much but honestly I need it right now. I look really seasick. Now this is what it looks like up close. I've got nothing else on my skin today, just the green concealer so far. 
up, so I want to show you guys what it looks like up close. What I do like about it is it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel slippery or silicony on the skin at all. It dries down to quite a matte-ish finish, which I really like. Now this concealer retails for 22 American dollars. I paid 24 euros being here in Ireland. So I'm going to give this concealer three stars out of five. Okay, so my foundation's on. So the next product I'm going to show you guys is the powder. This is the Jeffree Star Magic Powder. It comes in loads of different colors. I bought this one off Beauty Bay and unfortunately they were sold out of a lot of the lighter colors, which is what I would need to purchase. So I got it in the color Rose. As you can see, it's not actually pink in color. Like it does have a very, very slight peachy tone to it, but it's the kind of color that I have been wearing all over my face. Now mine's in a huge mess. I've got powder all over the top here and that's my fault because I left a little turn dial open and all the powder fell out. The first thing you'll notice about this powder is it smells like fairy floss. I always tell people not to breathe in powder because honestly it's not good for your lungs but even if you don't you know go to the effort of like smelling it and breathing it in the scent is really quite strong it smells so strongly of fairy floss if you don't like fragrance in your makeup or you're sensitive to fragrances on your skin you're probably not gonna like this I actually really love the way it smells every time I open it I'm like smells so good and then I feel like I want to eat fairy floss. The powder itself is honestly beautiful. Like it's so finely milled. It's such a gorgeous matte finish but not drying on the skin at all. I absolutely love this powder. I've been reaching for this powder over all my other high-end powders. This is by far my favorite. I love the packaging of it as well. It's cute, it's quirky, it's pretty but it's also kind of basic so it's nothing too elaborate. It's nothing too over the top like the concealer and nothing on here is overly scratchy. Ignore the fact that I've got foundation on my lips and seriously enlarged pores I just wanted to show you what the powder looks like up close on the skin as you can see you can barely see it it just kind of smooths everything out your skin looks kind of airbrushed it's amazing now this powder retails for 22 American dollars I paid 24 euros here in Ireland and I love it I think it's absolutely worth the money I give this powder five stars out of five I love the packaging I love the formula I love the smell you couldn't have done it any better with this I don't think now we're going to talk about the highlight so the highlight I purchased is the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Diamond wet highlight. First up, the packaging. I love. I think, again, it's super pretty. It's cool. It's colorful. I love the inside of the packaging. I love the way it says Jeffree Star up here and you can see through the lid so you can see what the color is on the inside. However, I hate this highlight. I'm so disappointed by it. Like, it's just so meh. Like, it looks so pretty in the packaging, but the product itself is totally meh. So there it is swatched on my finger. It looks amazing, right? It looks like starry. It looks super pigmented, really frosty on my hand. It looks great. Again, it looks super pigmented, really amazing. But then on the skin, it's just not. Now, don't get me wrong. It does have pigment to it. However, I find that this is a really kind of chunky highlight and it doesn't have very good staying power. Throughout the day, I'll find that there's like tiny little chunks of glitter kind of scattered all around my face and it's from this highlight. It doesn't stay put. Like that's my hand right now. What, two seconds later, all I did was go like that to blend out the highlight and it's gone. It's gone and all you're left with is glitter. It honestly looks like loose glitter dust and I don't want to look like I've got loose glitter dust on my face. I want my highlight to be popping but I want it to stay put. So this is what it looks like up close. Hopefully you guys can actually see what I'm talking about and see the texture of it and see the glitter particles that I'm on about. So this retails for 32 American dollars. I paid 32.50 euros. Honestly, I cannot figure out how these like conversions work. Like for some of the products, I've paid more in euros for them. And for some of the products, I've ended up paying less in euros for them. And for some of the products, I've ended up paying the same amount. So I'm like, how does this actually be calculated? I don't know. I would have to give this two stars out of five. I'm not really a fan of it. Okay, now guys, I'm about to try out all the lip products I bought. I do have dry lips. So I'm gonna go in with a lip scrub because I don't want anyone to accuse my lips of being the reason that some of these products failed. This one here is just from Tarte. Okay, honestly, that is about as smooth as my lips are ever going to get. The first products I'm going to talk to you about is the lip liners. I purchased three of the lip liners. I got this one here. This is Posh Spice. This one here, which is Celebrity Skin. And this one here, which is Androgyny. First of all, I'm going to swatch them all on my hand for you guys so you can see what they look like. So this one here is Androgyny. It's super dark, like a super dark mulberry shade. This shade here is my favorite. This is called Celebrity Skin. And then this one here is Posh Spice, which I also really like. First of all, the packaging. I 
love. I think this is so cute. It reminds me of like something from Sailor Moon or something like that. I don't know if that's actually what it's meant to be like, but that's what it reminds me of. And that's about all I like about these in all honesty. These have been such a fail for me and I'm so sad about it because I love the colors so much. Like these colors are right up my alley. I love them. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite shade here. This is Celebrity Skin. And you know what? First things first, I've got to tell you guys, this shade here, Androgyny, I've never actually used this one on my lips before. I've never worn it. That first swatch there is the first swatch I've done. Celebrity Skin, I've literally tried to wear it like three times, I think. Like after the first three goes, I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work for me. And look how much difference there is in the size of them already. Like look how much of Celebrity Skin I've already gone through and I've only worn it like three times. Now the reason for that is, is because the actual product inside it is so damn soft. It's so soft that when you try and put it on your lips, it goes down straight away. So I found myself having to sharpen it constantly just to get my full lips done. And obviously when you're sharpening it, it's going down. So these, in my opinion, will not last long at all, purely because they are so soft. I've got so many other lip liners that aren't as drying on my lips and aren't as soft, but go on really smoothly and they last for so much longer. Like my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, really comfortable on the lips. They last for so long. These ones, not so much. So I'm gonna have to sharpen this one to get it to a nice fine point to show you guys because this is what it's currently all looking like <laughs> there we go so that's it sharpened now I'm going to attempt to put it on my lips okay <laughs> can you see what I mean about it being so soft it literally crumbles when I try and apply it and I didn't over sharpen it I just sharpened it as minimally as possible so that it had a sharp point and I can get a nice neat line it has crumbled so that's kind of annoying because then you have to pick it off and that's the sharp tip gone now. But obviously you don't want to sharpen it again to get the sharp tip back because you'll just lose product. And might I add, I'm not pressing hard. I don't want to destroy these. These were bloody expensive and I want them to work because I really like the colors. Honestly guys, it's so hard to apply. That's it now after just applying it to my lips. See how blunt it's gone because it's just too soft. And then to get a nice precise like edge to a lip line, you'd have to go ahead and sharpen it again, but that's just gonna shorten the lip liner even more. So it's gonna last way less. So it's kind of a conundrum. So this is it on my lips. And honestly, it is so drying. Like I would not be able to leave my lips like this. I would have to put something on top, whether it be lip gloss or lip balm or some kind of hydrating lipstick because my lips feel like I've just coated them in a really hydration sucking powder. That's what it feels like. It exacerbates any dry areas on my lips and actually kind of like flakes them because they just, it dries my lips out so badly. It's like so, I can't even express to you guys like how drying it is. Like if you just take your finger and gently run over the lips right now, can you guys see how patchy it goes straight away? And it leaves these tiny little like flecks of lip liner on my finger. And they're purely lip liner, they're not like lip skin. So this has no staying power. It's way too soft. Like you just, you go through that lip liner so fast and it's not cheap and it's just so drying. So I'm going to take this off straight away. So these retail for 16 US dollars. I paid 15, 25 euros each for these is what it worked out at, which is 45, 75 euros on the three of these lip liners. Honestly, I feel bad saying it, but I've got to give these one star out of five because even though I love the color and I love the packaging, the formula, like I haven't even had, you know, one dollar lip liners that wear and apply as badly as these. Right now on to the next. I purchased a lipstick, just one lipstick, and I got it in the shade Celebrity Skin because it's my favorite color. I just love it. This is what the lipstick bullet actually looks like. Again, the packaging is just so cute. I just love, love, love the packaging. Okay, don't judge me guys, because this is totally not neat. I would usually go in with a lip liner first to like get my precise, nice, neat lip line and then lipstick, but obviously those lip liners and me, we're not friends. It kind of smells like Play-Doh actually. Yeah, kind of like sweet Play-Doh. Honestly, this feels so far really comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel drying yet. Okay, so I've just had to stop filming while I sort something out with my solicitor about this whole house buying debacle. And the lipstick, I'm pleased to say, is still holding on strong. It still feels really comfortable on my lips. And I'm actually surprised. I thought maybe by now it might be a bit drying because I've not been filming for about 15, 20 minutes. And it still feels really comfy. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. And the only reason it's losing 1 star is because I don't really like that kind of like reflective sheen off it. But yeah, it's really comfy. I'm pleased. And the colour, awesome. I purchased 
four of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These are the Velua liquid lipsticks. So you know I got it in the color Celebrity Skin. I got it in the color Posh Spice. I got the color Deceased. And I got the color Dirty Money because I was like, wow, that is such a cool shade of green. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand for you guys. So this one here is Dirty Mummy, that kind of like moldy green shade. <laughs> this one here is Deceased. Why does this one smell like poison? Play. This one here is Posh Spice. And this one up here is Celebrity Skin. So that's the color difference between them all. I'm gonna go in with Dirty Money because it's green. Oh, it goes on like a dream. It does smell kind of poisonous though. Okay, how cool is this color? It goes on like a dream, honestly. It just glides onto the lips and it's really opaque. I thought it might be a little bit patchier because I haven't actually like worn this color or tried it on my lips yet, but I'm pretty impressed. I think it's it's actually gone on so nicely. I've been wearing the Celebrity Skin shade, which one? This one here, so much. So I do know how these actually feel and how they wear because I've been testing them out for a good few weeks. So they're really comfortable when you first put them on. They're nice and like, creamy but then they do dry down to a matte finish and the matte finish is drying it's not half as drying as what the lip liners are they are just on a whole other scale of drying so this is what it looks like now that it's dried on my lips it's kind of cracking a little bit but nothing too bad and like I said if I was actually gonna wear this in real life and not just like showing it on camera for you guys um I would put a balm underneath it just to keep my lips hydrated so these liquid lipsticks I love the packaging I think the packaging is so cute like it's so like short and chunky I love the hot pink I just love the way they look I also like the way they apply however I wish instead of this kind of applicator I wish he would have gone for the doe foot applicator like the concealer instead okay so these retail for $18 each and I paid $16.95 euros for these and I got four so I paid $67.80 I think for the four of these which actually is so much money what was I thinking I would give them a four out of five and they're losing a point because they do tend to be a bit drying but otherwise I love the colors I love how well they stay on all day and I love the packaging and the last product I purchased that I'm going to show you guys is this baby here is a blood sugar palette and it is immense <laughs> it's bloody huge like I've got a massive head and this is the palette in comparison to my head it's like pretty much the same size as my head it's massive it's made out of like a weird kind of vinyl material as well it's cardboard with a vinyl coating over the top and then here you've got these two like clips to open it which is kind of interesting so you open it like that and then uh, open it like that. So this is what the palette looks like when it's opened. It's absolutely huge. It is actually pretty heavy as well. These are the eyeshadows, obviously. They're a really good size. Like they're huge pans, which as a makeup artist, I really appreciate that. I love a big pan. Like, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, for example, how the pans are so small. That just doesn't fly with me. I like a pan that is big this size so I can get like a big brush into it. So these are the shades. You've got mostly mattes, which as a hooded eye human, I like and then a few shimmers as well. So I'm gonna show you how the colors wear. I'm gonna go in with this kind of tan color here. I think it's called Rich. Nope, sorry, it's called Ouch. And I'm not gonna do anything like majorly like good with my eyes because I just wanna show you guys like the pigment and stuff. Like look how good that pigment is. Love it. Like that's a really good pigment I think and it applies pretty evenly. I've gotta say they're not the easiest eyeshadows to blend. Like once they're on, they're kind of on. Like I'm going in with a blending brush right now and it <laughs> doesn't really want to budge but if you can overlook that and if you can just like be really careful with your like application and blending they are pretty nice shadows yeah like they're definitely they don't definitely don't blend with ease once they're on that's them kind of stuck and they take a lot of work to blend out i'm gonna go in with this sparkly gold shade here just on the lid i'm just gonna apply it with my finger so i want to get the most opacity possible i actually don't like this shade <laughs> like it goes on well and everything and it like it's really pigmented and it does feel quite buttery. I just wish this gold was like a lighter shade like that color with the gold just doesn't go in my opinion. Even though when they're right next to each other in the palette they look like they'll go well together. On my eyes they don't. I'm going to take this shade here called Intravenous and just pop that on the outer corners. It's pretty pigmented like that's a decent amount of pigment I reckon from like a deep matte and when you do work it and when you do like go to blend it it doesn't blend away to nothing I hate shadows that just you know they go on really pigmented you're like oh my god this is amazing and then when you go to blend it it's like pfft, 
gone. So that's my eyeshadow. I haven't gone to a lot of effort, <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But the shadows are really nice. They're really pigmented. They stay put. So this palette out of five stars, I would give it four. And it only loses one star because the colors can be a wee bit hard to blend out, I find. This palette is expensive though. It's 52 US dollars and I paid 54 euros for it. <laughs> I just finished off my eye makeup. So I was like, I look like an alien. That is all the products I bought. And that is my full review on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Let me know if you've tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the comments down below and how did you get on with them? What products do you like? Which products do you not like so much and why? Has anybody had the same experiences as me with some of these products or am I just a weirdo? Thank you again to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out. I will put the link in the description box down below. It's an awesome app. It'll save you so much money if you actually use it. If you enjoyed this video, pretty please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much because it helps YouTube know that you enjoyed the video and then YouTube is more likely to show this video to other people that might enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe down below or by clicking my face here. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well and set your notifications to all. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!